Here we are at Hamilton Hill. The lows are getting longer, which is good because it has been quite windy. Having a little float around, get a feel for the air. I'm up 500 feet above the ground. Up at two and a half thousand feet. Just gonna give the others a little bit of time to take off. Gonna play around in front. Very nice conditions. Well, I'm back at hilltop level. <laughs> Let's them know it's flyable. Hopefully, I'll get up again soon with some company. Oh, I've got a bit of company now. And hopefully, Steve will be off soon. Okay, I've been faffing around here for long enough now. Need another climb. Grant seems to be going up. Oh, it's barely anything there. Grant, go ahead. Yeah, I'm wrapping around him. That was a load of hoop then. I just got drilled. Absolutely zero lift anywhere. Really was strange, however. Okay, well, I'm going to try and stay in this one and go with it. Two point eight, two point nine, three, three point one, three point two. I'll put two nine. Oh, that was a sweet climb. I'm now at 4,900 feet. Just lost the core temporarily. Beautiful views, Pool Harbour, Pool Bay, Weymouth and Portland, and then down the coast towards Bridport, Lyme Regis, 5,000 feet. Oh, 
might as well get as high as possible. Let's go under this lot. Before heading downwind. Up at five and a half thousand feet. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. As you see the Bristol Channel up there as well. Right, I need this is well I'm only at 5.4 but uh, only at 5.4. I'm up at 5.4. I don't really need a lift, any lift yet, but let's hope this cloud gives me something. Down to 4.3. Hoping for a lift here. Otherwise, just that cloud and then press on down there. But there is that one. See what happens here first. Four thousand three hundred, and I'm in a lovely two meters per second climb, smooth as anything. I'm trying to look out for the Cern Abbas Giant. Must be somewhere around here. The lovely house down there in the lake. Sea breeze in Weymouth Bay now, looking, judging by those uh, cruise liners. Five and a half thousand feet, and I spotted the Cernab's giant down there on the end of that hill. <laughs> so I've done about 25k, just passing south of Yeovil, just driven over the A, uh, <laughs> flown over the A37. And just getting quite close to my brother's house actually. Four thousand six hundred feet, and it's ten to four. It's getting a bit frustrating, getting under all these clouds, and they're just dying as I get there. It's just only finding a really weak lift down at three thousand three hundred. So come on. One and a half. Three thousand three hundred feet. Let's get up high again. Two meters a second. That's better. Not sure what that little town is. Beminster, I think. Nice little market town. Right, focalize, masterize. Five thousand four hundred. Past the oval now. Wonderful view of Chesil Beach. And we got Lime Regis down there. actually got to base yet so I'm at five almost five six beautiful I think I'm gonna go for these clouds I could sort of go more inland 
Oh, difficult, but at the moment, these look nice. I don't want to get low though down here because I might get into the sea breeze. That's the danger. But at the moment I'm at 5.5. Five. And 41 kilometers. Well that cloud worked, it's working beautifully. Two meters per second. It was three, it'd be nice to find that again. Okay, so I'm just over 6,000 feet. Lime Regis down to my left, beer head, and then uh, Exeter sort of down that way. Lovely cloud here, nothing over there. So I think we could go inland now for a bit. 6,200 feet! I don't know what that town is down there. South Chard, possibly. And then Axminster down there, I think. A geography lesson for me. Right, let's head for these wispy ones over here. I'm going to try and get around the north uh, north side of Exeter Airport now. Okay, officially at Cloud Base for the first time today. Six and a half grand. Well, 6,600, almost 6,700. Head for the sun. Just stunning. Oh, quite a big sink. So that's Honiton down there. 66k so far, I'm at 5,000 feet. Haven't had a climb for a few kilometers. Exeter Airport there. 4.8, uh, plenty of height really. Just feels low compared to what I've been at. Oh, I'm in some horrible sink now. Trouble, trouble is Exeter is only about 10k away. If I get low, I don't want to get blown into it. Hope I get something off these fields down here. Going up there. About 3,300. Come on. Cloud forming up there. Presumably from up there. Two meters. The glider was pulling me in that direction. It's quarter past five. Two and a half meters. My aunt lives fairly close to here. Just to the south of Exeter Airport. Right, come on, get back in the strongest bit again. I cannot afford to lose this. If I just stay in this, I'll just drift straight over the airfield. But 
that's okay, it only goes up to 2,100 feet. Flying Exeter uh, in our control zone, but I'm at 4,000 feet and I'm in a nice climb now. City of Exeter before me there. About 15 kilometers an hour of wind. Northeast. Fabulous view of the River X and Exmouth, Topsham. I'm up at 5.3. that climb gone. a railway station is that is the sensible thing to do land at Exeter because I don't know if there's any railway stations to the west up towards Oakhampton well I'll have a, try and have a look oh yeah there is a railway station at Oakhampton well I'm safely past Exeter ATC CTA, whatever, CTZ I'll get it right in a minute and here is Exeter it's all looked very blue there Obviously, I suppose the sea breeze is there line of clouds going this way let's just have a play around see if I can find another climb Done 92k. Oh, I'm not going to get anywhere with two down. Three down. Four hundred feet. <sighs> Unless I get something seen, I'm going to turn around and land down there. Hmm. Okay, last. 
last chance at something here. good flight. It's six o'clock. There's a railway station here. Call me old-fashioned or boring. Maybe I'll get a climb here. There is the railway station. It's rather nice seeing Exeter from the air. I didn't really know it looked like this. Forum. That's about four hours. Ah. Touchdown! Took me a while to realise that uh, the wind was actually blowing from the south. And what a lovely flight that was! Only about three hours once I'd left the hill. Yeah, it's 20 past six now, I've been down for about 10 minutes. I sort of climbed out at three o'clock, so yeah, about 100k. Chuffed with that. Yeah, so there are plenty of trains back. I'm sure there'll be empty as anything um, just a mile up to my left and try and find a beer somewhere and a packet of crisps hey hey what a lovely day out brilliant fun platform four for the 1911 great western railway service to plymouth Just a beautiful evening. The train's deserted. I think there's about four or five other people. Great flight, I really enjoyed that. Beautiful flight.